Hi gang! I decided to make my own DIY microchip. No, not like those. A macro chip on a potato chip like this. This one has a 555 timer chip circuit on it with a photoresistor to vary the sound frequency. I start by pouring out some unsalted chips just in case salted was too electrically conductive. I find a big enough chip. But first I check for resistance with a test chip. So far so good. It's not electrically conductive. Then I mix some epoxy resin and start coating the test chip. After two coats, the uncoated part breaks easily, while the coated part holds up well. I drill some holes and insert some 100 ohm resistors. They're not connected together. The resistance is correct across the first one, and there's no connection to the second one, which is right. So I start coating the big piece in epoxy. And after two coats on both sides and letting it harden for a few days, this is the result. It's good and strong. Here's the 555 timer circuit I'll be using on a breadboard. It's the same circuit that I used for this music player. In that case, the different sounds were produced by having a strip of paper with holes in it close the circuit between different sets of resistors, which were underneath. But in this case, I'm using a photoresistor here. By controlling how much light it gets, I control the resistance and therefore change the frequency of the sound. I'm using the batteries from a pet toy laser from a dollar store. I cut one up to get the case. Inside it is a spring, which I solder a wire to and attached to a plastic disc. I hot glue that to the case. For a plug, I find a thick wire that fits snugly into a tube from a hobby store. I attach the thick wire to an end cap and the tube to another wire. And here's the finished battery case and plug. To hold the battery case in place, I drill some holes in the chip and run some support wires through it. Here's the battery in place. Next comes the main circuit, starting with the 555 timer chip, the 1 kilo ohm resistor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, a 100 ohm resistor, the photoresistor, a 51 ohm resistor, a 100 microfarad capacitor, and the battery again. And lastly, here's the speaker. It's a piezoelectric speaker taken from a microwave oven like this one. And here's the finished result. Plugging it in, it sounds like this. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more fun videos like this. You can support these videos either through Patreon or through a one-time donation. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon.